Welcome to corporate America. Was this it? Was this who I was? Would I forever be remembered as a file clerk? Or worse, a temp? Toss them in there. Where are the other files? Uh, what other files? The other files I requested, the red flag cases? Yeah, looked for those, couldn't find them. Well, files just don't disappear. They do if you drop them down an elevator shaft. Is that a joke? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Can I go now? Which elevator? Middle one. I was doomed to spend the rest of my life in a lousy dead-end job. And I'm not just being dramatic. Well, since you're interaction man, can't you just tell them I'm OK? I'll get right on that. <gasps> then I'll tell them. How do you propose doing that? Rattling some chains, making the lights flicker. You know how to make wind sounds? I could help you. I, I can do that part for you. Why do you have to be such an asshole? Welcome into the Waffle House. What can I get you? Uh, T-bone steak and eggs, T-bone medium rare eggs over easy. I want toast instead of hash browns and hot syrup for the pancakes. And please do not skimp on the butter. And a side order crispy bacon, extra, extra, extra crispy. Drink? Lemonade. I'm not staying. I've got an appointment downtown. I hope it's not another dead hooker. Miss. Miss. You... You said no one could see me. Well, that was before you joined the ranks of the undead. Now order something before she thinks you're retarded. Uh, what are you having? Mm-hmm. How much you need? $650. It's a lot of money to pay for a shithole. Yeah, huh? Have you spoken to Rube? No. Is he mad at me? Well, you missed an appointment. I can't imagine he's tickled. All right, all right. You can have this one if you carry it. My arms are already asleep. Can I just take one of these? All right, you can take the light away. I'm gonna get a pet bird. I don't get a bird. Why not? Because they're weird. Man, they're, I can't relate to a bird. They're so far removed. They've got different chromosomes. And they come from eggs. They got faces. So do cockroaches. And what are you gonna do with a bird? Stick it in a cage and feed it. What do you think I'm gonna do with it? Well, I think you should at least get one you can eat. I'm gonna get a friend. I'm not gonna eat my friend. They have brains the size of pistachios. It's not smart enough to be a friend. You don't know what you're talking about. I saw this special on PBS called Animal Miracles, and they did a dramatic reenactment about a guy being robbed, and he had a parrot or a cockatiel or something, and that bird lost its shit when its owner was attacked. It opened up its cage. Why would you put a bird in a cage if it can open the door? Where else are you gonna put it? It opened up its cage and went crazy, pecked out the robber's eyes, scratched his face up like he was Tippy Hedren or some shit. And don't you tell me that's not friendship. How big was his parrot? I don't know. Parrot size. Well, a parrot can't take on a full-grown man unless that man is a big pussy. I didn't say the parrot won. The robber stabbed it with a fork and killed its owner. The bird's dead. So why are you getting a bird? It's not about Homeland Security, you stupid motherfucker. I'm gonna get a friend. Jesus. You got 14 dealers, got 16. Hit or stick? I don't know. Because you're not watching the table. Why aren't you watching the table? Don't know. 
You hit. Somehow out of the sweet blue sky, the guy next to you busts. Do I like this guy? He's your fellow man. Of course you like him. He busts because you took his card. He doesn't want to be your friend now. And the Alvin down at the end of the table, he's crying into his beer because he just doubled down. No, it's steak. Look, all I'm saying, someone who doesn't know what she's doing can blow it for the whole table. So don't let her sit at the table. She's already sitting. Don't get excited. I'm not excited. I'm cool as a cucumber. What are you talking about? OK. All I'm saying is you probably should have this conversation with George. Why are you doing this to me? What? Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Just take a breath, calm down. I'm breathing fine, Mason. Good. Look, if you want me to talk to her, I'll talk to her. I don't want you talking to anybody. J just don't, don't say anything. I'm sorry I brought it up. Well, don't be sorry, man. It was a mistake. No. Just, we're having a chat. No, know? no, you're right. I should be saying it to George, not you. And as far as she's concerned, we didn't have the conversation. So what conversation did we have? Who gives a shit? Not this one. What's your name, MJ? What? My friend tells me, go say hello to MJ. He's standing over there, and she points at you. Which friend? Right there, pretty girl in the pantsuit. That one? Yeah. I don't know her. Well, what did she point at me for? She thought you were MJ Bowers, are you? Who wants to know? It's a family reunion. We're all family. I'm just asking your name. I don't know you, sir. Rube. Hi, how are you? Listen, I'm tired of fucking around. Your name MJ Bowers or not? You like a little lunch, Millie? Oh, actually, I have plans today. Really? Yeah, it's kind of a lunch date. Oh. I mean, not a date date. Millie, I, I hope you don't feel uncomfortable saying no to me. It, it doesn't have to be awkward. You, you don't have to lie. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not angry. OK. There'll be plenty of lunches. Uh-huh. So don't worry about having plans. But I really do have a lunch date. <laughs> OK. It's just. Your honesty is important, and I think you sometimes forget I have been where you are. I have been young and alone. I will simply say this. As you grow, being a loner stops being something you are ashamed of and becomes something you treasure. Hi, Millie. Um, sorry I'm late. Are you ready? Yeah. OK, bye. This is a lost cause. Well, maybe we should split up. Oh, that's great. That's great. You go, but you better find yourself one hell of a lawyer. Split up to find the dog. Oh. That's a good idea. Boy, come here. Which of the following best describe the ideal workplace? What? Hey, wait. A, a nurse in an emergency room. B, a lifeguard at the beach. Or C, a night watchman in an industrial park. No problem? No. No, I, I was just thanking Kiffany for the beverage. The lifeguard. You sit on your ass all day and just make sure everything's OK. That'd be nice. What? What? Did, what? Lifeguard? Kiffany, darling, I've got a lot of work to do here, and in all honesty, I cannot sit here and discuss whatever acts you've got to grind with lifeguards, so... Right. One warning, Mason. Consider yourself warned. Well, she's pissed drunk. Look at her. She's, she's hammered. I feel like I've been poisoned. Have you been poisoned? No, not on purpose. I had some bad salmon once. I don't touch this stuff anymore. Was it salmon moose? I don't know. It was canned. Morning. Morning. Why are you leaving? Well, because if I stay, you'll put me in a bad mood, and it's a beautiful day, and I don't want to be in a bad mood. Do you not like me anymore? Well, not right this minute. You're a constipator, Peanut. You disturb my shit, and that's annoying. I think you're marvelous. 
Johnny, Johnny boy, how's it hanging? Yes. Mary, come on, what's the 411, eh? What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm pretending to care about all these people. Huh. Well, the guy who sits in that cubicle has a website dedicated to rare buttons. And the woman who sits in there has phone sex with a high school senior from New Mexico, Native American. And the woman who sits over there... Sitting over there. Crystal? We have a problem. I don't think it's a problem. Gravelings? Hmm. Weirder. It's fine. She said she came here to water her plants. And she offered to help. Does she know you're no longer employed here? It's really hard to tell what Crystal knows. Wait! How's it going, pretty lady? Oh, fuck off! Press that down, brother! You know that doesn't make it come like Fuck off! For Lawrence! Marie's in shock! My neighbor's in. He came in and pissed all over her floor and then just collapsed. I have to get him to a hospital. He's pissing all over your neighbor's kitchen floor. I think your husband. Where's a cat, you asswipe? Dolores, you're in no condition to drive. Let me drive. I, 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 Who are you calling an asswipe? Asswipe? Eh, yeah, don't touch I'll me. I'll touch you if I want to touch you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.